Now let's discuss the nomenclature of nitriles, technically another carboxylic acid derivative. Nitriles look something like this. They have a C triple bonded to an N. Let's talk about how to name these, and let's start with the most simple example when R is just a methyl group. Notice this nitrile is two carbons long. If it were an alkane, it would simply just be called ethane. But the way we name nitriles is we simply just add it to the end of the alkane name. So instead of ethane, we call it simply ethane nitrile. And how do we name the common name? Well, again, we think of the carboxylic acid. If this was a two-carbon big carboxylic acid, the common name would be acetic acid. But since it's a nitrile, we change acetic acid to acetonitrile. Again, a very common theme in this nomenclature, everything being derived from the carboxylic acid. To make sure you got this, though, let's look at another example. This nitrile is six carbons long, so the name of this molecule would simply be hexane nitrile. For the common name, if it was a six carbon carboxylic acid, it would be caproic acid. So to change it into the nitrile, we would call this capronitrile. And what about if our nitrile happens to be substituted? Let's put a BR right here. Then we simply, remember, make the carbon in the nitrile carbon 1 because he has the highest priority. This, in turn, puts the BR on carbon 4, so the name of this molecule would be simply 4-bromohexane nitrile. Under the common name system, you would call him gamma capronitrile. Again, notice the BR is definitely on the gamma carbon within that chain. So that's how we name nitriles in organic chemistry.